Uh, grown men don't cry, unless it's the powerful voice of Reba McIntyre singing the national anthem at Super Bowl, or Chris Stapleton last year. The national anthem does make some of us quite emotional. They make me cry, me! And who better to deliver that emotion than country music singers? Let's look at the 10 country singers who have performed the national anthem at the Super Bowl. Starting off with Charlie Pride, the first country singer to sing the anthem at Super Bowl VIII back in 1974. There's some debate on whether he was also the first solo singer across all genres to have performed as before him. It was mostly sung by orchestras and bands. An NFL.com reference states that Anita Bryant performed the anthem in 1969, but NBC's broadcast of Game shows that it was Lloyd Geisler of Washington National Symphony Orchestra who performed it. The next time a country singer got this honor was almost 20 years later. And it was so controversial that it forced NFL to permanently change the way they telecast Super Bowl. According to reports, Brooks walked out just 45 minutes before the kickoff. The reason for that was that he supposedly wanted to debut his video for his song We Shall Be Free during the broadcast, but his request was denied as it was not considered suitable for NFL's family audience. More on this incident when Brooks brought NFL and TV broadcast officials down to their knees on the link above. Next, it was Faith Hill who did the honors of performing the Star Spangled Banner before Super Bowl 34 at Georgia Dome, Atlanta. She was still riding on the success of her number one single, Breathe, and her rendition of the national anthem was considered to be one of the best at the time. Her football connection only became deeper as she became the voice of Sunday Night Football theme song from 2007 to 2013, and she also returned to the Super Bowl in 2009, where she sang America the Beautiful before the game. Only one country group has ever performed the national anthem at the Super Bowl. That group is the Dixie Chicks, who performed during the 2003 Super Bowl in San Diego, California. That year, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers faced off against the Oakland Raiders and won the biggest game in football, 48-21. In 2010, it was Carrie Underwood's turn as she performed the national anthem prior to the face-off between New Orleans Saints and the Indianapolis Colts at Sun Life Stadium, Florida. She also replaced Hill as the new voice of Sunday Night Football in 2013 and has performed the theme ever since. She famously said in an interview that her biggest fear was the words. Of course, you know the words, but if you're going to mess up, that'd be the time, right? Luke Bryan got the chance to perform the national anthem at the Super Bowl in 2017. Like Underwood, Brian opted to perform the anthem a cappella. Since 2021, country music stars have been given the honor of singing the national anthem for four years straight. First, it was Eric Church who joined forces with R&B artist Jasmine Sullivan. Next, it was Mickey Guyton, who sang the anthem before the Los Angeles Rams defeated the Cincinnati Bengals, 23-20. 2023 saw arguably the greatest national anthem performance of all time. Chris Stapleton's rendition was so powerful, the Philadelphia Eagles head coach was caught crying during the performance. And that brings us to Chris Jones tearing up when Reba McIntyre took center stage to sing the national anthem. Even Super Bowl ads featured country stars this year. Click on the link on the left to find the truth behind Jelly Roll and Laney Wilson's healthcare PSA. Thanks for watching.